Dropping straight out the coffin, locked in guests, now you're all out of options. Watchmen, I'm a dark knight, no goth, and decimate your regiments and tear into your squadron. Rod and plead all your sins to father, no caution. Drown up the screens with laughter, no conscience. Vow to go down like martyrs, and I'm burning all these Germans like the hidden by disaster. Gun to your head, no, there's no turning back. Dead or alive like a Schrodinger's cat. They be like nine with a nine in their mouth, and like water, I'm known for disposing the trash. Better witness, I'm a madman. It's like Christmas when I pack mags, take a big ship, and I crash land. It's like click, click, then it's bang, bang. You can understand me like I'm abstract. Hit the 21 shots like it's blackjack. Jack, fuck the Vatican, ain't one for back chat And I'm pale from the chest like I'm Vlad Damn. Cannot clap back, it's not happening I'm a monster of God like a Madison That's why in these heathens no paladin Cause with the way that they fight me it's also embarrassing Living in my deck, so you know I've been the hounds I'm a gunning down round after round after round after round after round I'll be round to the mouth of the body count I'll be leaving puddles on the battleground Getting loud, I'll be striking on the clock like Big Ben When in doubt, I'm up the alley like a pitch bend ah, Your life is in danger, so major The barrel is aimed like I'll feed a zen Blood on my hands, blood on my shoes Blood on the air, blood on the ground I'm on the move Better be scared Blood on my lips, blood on my drip Blood in my lair Enter the mists if you insist I'll answer your prayers <laughs> Blood on the walls, I'm unloading my shells Blood in the street, hear the sound of the bells London, this where the vampire dwells Blood in the city, so welcome to hell I speak Japanese Listen Blood on my hands, blood on my shoes, blood on the air, blood on the ground, I'm on the move, better be scared. Blood on my lips, blood on my drip, blood in my lair. Enter the mists, if you insist, I'll answer your prayers. Blood on the walls, I'm unloading my shells. Blood in the street, hear the sound of the bells. London, this where the vampire dwells. Blood in the city, so welcome to hell. Blood on the walls, I'm unloading my shells. Blood in the street, hear the sound of the bells. London, this where the vampire dwells. Blood in the city, so welcome to hell. gonna stop me uh sloppy you really think you got me uh cocky ninjutsu i embody i'm the copy ninja call me harder cake akashi uh, haley for connor i guess you're not running far quicker and hitting your various body parts stopping you from the start pacing you through the hot pillar my head band you see my shotgun uh, gun like landing i'm striking you're frightened i'm liking the feeling of over igniting i'm lighting you up and you're writhing and dying i'm sighing you're tiring and so unsurprising uh. Uh, I'm copying different jutsu I choose to use the cues and prove the moves in which you lose to With room to, I'm used to Hitting fast like staccato Explain how I'm insane Cause I was trained by Minato uh, Nobody matching my intellect Showing the way that I interject Cutting you down like a gun is a pleasant But that ain't my guess is you're incorrect I'm in to get stronger for the job I'm the right man What can you expect from the son of the white fang? Uh, copy, you're never gonna stop me uh, Sloppy, you really think you got me uh, Kaki ninjutsu, I am Body. I'm the copy ninja, call me Harder Cake Akashi. Uh, copy, you're never gonna stop me. Uh, sloppy, you really think you got me? Uh, cocky ninjutsu, I embody. I'm the copy ninja, call me Harder Cake Akashi.
Started out life as a lone wolf Sparring with a writer watching a long ago Kunai in hand and I'm so cool Never been one for emotional burdens Coming with openness But watching him die was crushing for the both of us I'm sure in my drone and abilities Better be ready to judge my ability Mangeki, you're wrecking me Step for a second, so son, I could turn a utility Watch my agility, make electricity This is how legends are all made No possibility for your own victory Call me the sixth Hokage I hope my presence is forming a good impression Specialized ninja, leader of team seven uh, I'm flooring your boring The truth of the stories is gory, the glory that's laid up before me it's getting stormy when i hit you with chidori uh copy you're never gonna stop me uh sloppy you really think you got me uh cocky ninjutsu i embody i'm the copy ninja call me harder kakashi uh copy you're never gonna stop me uh sloppy you really think you got me uh cocky ninjutsu i embody i'm the copy ninja call me harder kakashi uh, I'm the copy ninja, call me Hada Kikikashi. <laughs> yeah. Gojo, I'm a pop by like Hello Ono. Oh Hello, welcome to the stream. So, today we're going to get right on into it. Uh, yesterday we started out doing quite a few of the Stormblood main story. Um, yeah, we're going to try and get to Doma today. Hopefully we can get there. It would seem inefficient for us all to venture out together in search of information on Yugiri and Gosetsu's whereabouts. Agreed? Agreed. We need to cast our net wider, split, and search for all possible avenues of inquiry. But, if we're to coordinate our efforts effectively, we'll need to establish a working base of operations here. Indeed. Totaru, it would seem best suited to the task of organizing our supplies and procuring new ones. While she attends to that, we four can begin our search for qu by questioning the individuals Hancock identified. Alice, I, Alice A and I will take those in the southern districts of the city, and the two of you can take those in the, in the north. In uh, anticipation of just such an eventuality, I took the liberty of preparing some few sketches of Yugiri and Gosetsu during our voyage. Wow! You should have warned me that you were a bit of an artist, but these are great. They'll definitely come in handy. Looks like it's you and me, it's me. Let's step outside and talk about where to start. Elfenor's sketches are so, I don't know how to put it, but they're very, well, see for yourself. You may view Elfenor's sketch at any time during this quest by using the relevant item in the key items menu. Oops. <sighs> yep. It looks more like them than they do. Honestly, you could make a living doing this. Ah, sorry, sorry. No time for distractions. Why don't we start by visiting K Karaku uh, at the on something? On sun? On san? On sen? That was it. Uh, after 
after stream last night, I made it a point to open up all of the Aethernets so I could travel around quickly. Come one, come all, burns, cuts, burns, cuts, embarrassing rashes. There is naught that the mystical waters of the Bokaisen Hot Springs cannot heal. Oh, what is that in your hand? Hmm, you seek this Aura and this Rogadin, do you? A thousand apologies, but I cannot help you. It is against our policy to, to divulge information regarding patrons past or present. Please, we came all the way from Eorzea to find our friends. We have our reputation to consider, miss. Men and women from all walks of life come here in search of rejuvenation, body and soul. They seek privacy and discretion, and we, are ever, we have ever honored their wishes. Only the Seke Segumi may demand otherwise. I am sorry, but there is naught I can do. I suppose we'll just have to ask somewhere else, someone else. Then, what about that woman who runs the holstery? Kotokaze, was it? I can't wait to learn the Eastern Bath. Ba -da 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 -da. Uh... Welcome, traveler. Can I assist interest you in some rice wine? Exceptional quality, delivered but the other day. An Ari Shinobi and a Rogan in Samurai? If I may, I would answer your question with some few of my own. If I speak of that which you know, Ejin, be not offended. You are familiar with the situation in the lands across the Ruby Sea. The doomed rebellion after two and a half decades of quiet. I see. And you are familiar with the ways of the Hingashi? How we elect to stand apart and support no cause but our own? Indifferent and callous, some may call us, but pragmatism is essential if a humble island nation such as our, uh, such as ours, is to survive. But we are not fools. Complete isolation is impractical, and so Kugane is open to Ejin, and we are equally hospitable to all. Or if I must speak more plainly, yes, I can help you, but if I do, I must also oblige the ones who ask after you. Are you willing to accept their f this fair and e equitable treatment? Yeah. If anyone comes looking for us, tell them whatever you like. As you wish, the two individu individuals of whom you speak did come here. They sought passage across the Ruby Sea. Few ships are willing to make the trip at the moment. Nevertheless, I made several introductions on their behalf. Oh, fuck. That was the extent of our interaction. I'll provide you with the names of the captains if you like. You've been a great help, Mistress Kotokaze. I'll be sure to come back for that wine sometime. You would, we would welcome your custom, miss. We should question these captains as soon as we can. You take the first three and I'll take the rest. We'll meet here when we've finished, alright? Good luck.
Will you ask me if I've seen this Ari woman, this rogue and his samurai? Hmm. The woman is unknown to me, but the man is not. It was Fredoma, but I could not help him. We travel solely between here and Radzad Han. It would be an un unreasonable detour. Where's the other one? Around here somewhere. Yes, a rogue and gentleman did approach me. He wanted to charter a ship to take him across the Ruby Sea, the mad devil. I sent him away, like all others before him. The woman? Nay, I know her not. Sometimes people just pop out of thin air. Why are we so tired? Fuck. Off. Should be upstairs, and I missed him. Passengers? No. We no longer offer that service. Too much trouble. Now we only transport goods. I told this to the samurai and he's and sent him on his way. The woman? Ha! If it is woman you seek, the pleasure houses have plenty. How did it- oh, never mind. Judging from the look on your face, you didn't have much better the luck than I did. Oh, wait. Well, I suppose we might as well help head back to- wait, I've just remembered. There was someone on my list I forgot to visit. Gyodobo. Or Gyodo. It is, he is a Namazu fisherman, whatever that means, and a regular here. Maybe we'll find him if we look around. Oh, they're upstairs. I got him for the back so he won't, won't run away. What? What? Why do you stare? Do you have business with me? By the twelve, a talking fish! Yes, yes, a talking fish. How very observant of you, Ejin. Uh, you find me in good spirits, so you rudeness I will ago ignore this once, but only if you address me again in the proper manner. <laughs> Sorry, I've never met a... Let's start again. You're Gyoda, right? My name is Lise, and this is It's Me. We're looking for some of our friends. Oh, 
I see, I see. Both these ones I know well. Help them secure passage across the Ruby Sea. <laughs> really? That's wonderful. Could you do the same for us? Yes, yes, this would not be a problem. For you, I could charter a ship this very day. But the journey is fraught with much peril. The fare will not be cheap. Are you sure you can afford to pay? I didn't bring any money, but surely Sataru will let us take whatever we need from the Scion's coffers, right? We wouldn't be the only passengers, though. Could we take a moment to talk it over with our friends? Yes, yes, but hurry! Your ship must depart under the cover of darkness. We shall meet again at sunset on Tasugare Bridge. Do not forget your fare. Bring many gil. Yes. That man's gonna set us up for a trap. And I know it. It's about time my luck changed. Alphanod and the others will be thrilled. That man's drinking sake in the background. Thousand HP. That's not bad. Uh, Ruby Bazaar. Yeah. Oh shoot! Forgot to turn that stuff back on. Oh, thanks for the bits, Jacoby e. Flower. How's it going? We spoke with a number of merchants and captains at the southern piers. Several recognized Gosetsu and confirmed that he'd been he had been searching for a vessel to deliver him to Arthur. None, however, made any mention of Lady Yagiri. Yes, it was the same story for us, and then you'll never believe what happened. So this Gyodo claims to have aided both Gosetsu and Yugiri. How fortuitous. Not the word I would have chosen, Master Elfinord. Stupid's what I'd call it. How can you agree to his price without making any attempt to haggle? Or even confirming what it was in the first place? Yes, that too was a misstep on their part. But it is not what troubles me most. Gyodo and his brethren are not renowned for their generosity of spirit. Rather, they are disdained as scheming moneylenders, ever eager to turn a profit for others' misfortune. Everyone else we questioned stated that Gosetsu was alone. Only Kyoto claims to have met both him and Yugiri. I suppose it is possible that Kosetsu made inquiries by himself, and only called upon Yugiri once he found a willing captain. But it is equally possible, if not more likely, that you are being deceived. Do not forget that there are parties present in Kugane whose agenda, with agendas which may run contrary to your own. The Viceroy once, once, was once a spy herself, as I recall. I should be surprised if she did not have countless agents here in her employ, all eager to have uh, to prove themselves to their new master. And what better way to do so than by delivering her the heads of foreign insurgents? Fine, you may be, be right about him, but if Gyodo's working for the Empire, who's to say he didn't try the same trick on Yugiri and Gosetsu? I mean, if he did, he might know where they are. And if he succeeded, they might be in trouble. Anyway, if he holds up his end of the bargain, we'll have nothing to worry about, will we? What if he, but if he tries to betray us, I vote we take him prisoner and punch him till he tells us the truth. So if it's a trap, we'll spring it and deal with the consequences. Hmm, I like the way you think. <sighs> Very well. We should prepare for the worst. Tatar will, ro will remain here, and I shall follow. The three of you at a dis discreet distance. Once more, I must, must caution you to avoid physical, physical altercations at all costs. 
Even should Imperial agents attempt to engage you, the Seke Sugumi will not hesitate to clap you in irons or cut you down. If anything untoward would, should happen, you are to return here at once. Is that clear? Oops, I don't want to talk to you, Hancock. LSA! To review, Lee, it's me, and I will meet in with Giotto as planned. Elfenaut would keep watch from a distance, ready to provide support in the likely event that Giotto attempts to betray us to the Imperials or whomever else. Uh, should that happen, you and Lee will subdue him, and together we will make our escape. As our actions will surely draw the attention of the Seke Sugumi, we will evade them with Elfenol's assistance and return here with our prisoner. Does that meet with everyone's approval? Of course, these precautions will be for naught if Giotto does not play us for fools. But we shall see. To the bridge! <clears throat> Water! How's everybody doing? I would be allies nowhere to be seen. Make ready, it's me. Something smells fishy. Oh, I think it's gonna cap me out. I think I'm like level 64, 65. He's late. And most sincere apologies to you and yours, yes, yes. This way, this way, quickly now. I hate his voice. I hate it so much. Enough! Where are you taking us? Where is the ship? The ship! The ship! So very sorry to inform you, yes, yes! Long before was it pledged to another! To me! To me! These ones are for Doma! That rat bat fish bastard? I knew it couldn't be this simple. Nothing personal, yes, yes, just business. Then business is about to take a turn for the worse.
Come on, let's find a way out of here. Aren't we not allowed to fight? Well, that sucks. Uh, go bad, bad. Samurai don't show up. As expected, the Seke Sugumi have caught our scent. Since fighting them is out of the question, we will have to wind our, wind our way back to the Brupee Bazaar, evading their patrols as we go. If, you find, if they find you, use these smoke bombs to make your escape. Use the smoke bombs to evade the patrols. Be warned that attacking the Seke Sugumi will result in failure. your friends. First a talking fish, and now a tortoise? Uh, what have we got to lose? Thank the twelve, you've made it. I feared our Kyojin friend or Kojin man, friend, might not find you in time. Everything's going to be alright. You can trust me. I don't know how the Kojin are supposed to sound, so... My voice for them might be a little off. I guess my voice was close. Clear the road! Clear the road! You there! Kojin! We seek four foreigners. One, a brutish woman carrying an unconscious Namazu. 
Have you seen them? Four foreigners, you say? Ah, yes! Very rude they were, making no apology as they barged past. They went that way, I think. Many thanks, good sir. With me, they cannot have gone far. All is well. The Seki Sei Gumi will not return this way for some time, I should think. You are of the East Aldenard Trading Company, yes? Come with me. I know a safer way. Through the sewers. He is a friend. Friend, not foe. Nor food. He will teach me spear fishing. You are returned. And with guests, I see. Oh, my controller almost fell. Our meeting went about as well as expected. We've brought the Namazu who thought to betray us. When he wakes up, we'll see what he knows about Yugiri and Gazetsu. Well done, you. When I saw the Seki Segumi out in force, I did begin to worry, but I see my fears were misplaced. Actually, if it weren't for Soroban, we might not have gotten away. How do you know his name? Twas my pleasure. Yet I must ask, Soroban, why would you deceive the Seki Segumi to help us, foreigners of whom you know naught? Is it's a good thing. Why out of the kindness of my heart is what I would like to say, but my <coughs> motives are not so pure. I chanced to witness your meeting with Hancock at the tavern and saw an opportunity. An opportunity? Like many, I came to Kugane as a trader to make my fortune. Kojin of the Red may serve the Empire as mercenaries, but Kojin of the Blue walk a different path. Regretfully, most here would rather not meet our gaze, much less do business. So I seek the custom of those less predisposed to dismiss us outright, namely the East Aldenard Trading Company. Quid pro quo, is it? Well, there is no denying that we owe you a debt. What say you, Hancock? Will you consider doing business with our entrepreneurial friend here? Rest assured, Master Soroban, that in matters of trade, the company does not discriminate. We would be honored to hear your proposal. Sounds awesome. You know, I promise you will not regret this, good sir. Ah, yes. You sought passage across the Ruby Sea, did you not? I have a ship you can use. You do? Well then, far be it from us to refuse. You have our deepest thanks. <clears throat> and you mine. You know, the way Hancock behaves is completely unlike somebody who would work for, um... Uh... Lolorito. I'm still annoyed he tried to deceive us, but at least we were prepared for it. Even so, next time we should prepare to probably try to avoid running around Kugane. In the middle of the night, with this, with half the city guard snapping at our heels. Very truly. 
Ooh. Wow. Direct hit rate takes a dip. And my critical hit chance goes up. <clears throat> Right then, Kyoto should be coming around soon. I think it's the time we had a little chat, don't you? Making the catfish sing. <laughs> Rise and shine, little fishy. I know you can hear me, so stop pretending to be asleep or I'll give you another ride on my boot. No, 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 more boots. All my secrets are yours for the asking. Tell us what you know about Yagiri and Gosetsu. Every last detail. And if I find out later that you lied to me... No, no, no more lies. The clear, unvarnished truth. You have my word. Only the samurai did I meet. Yes, yes, only him. He asked for a ship, so I provided an introduction to... To the Garleans. You mean you let him into a trap as you did us? Because you are an Imperial spy. No, no, I am no spy. It was only business. Fewer ships pass through Kugane these days, and we have struggled to make ends meet. So when the Garleans offered a bounty for any domains found in Kugane... Oh, my mistake. You're not a spy, you're but a common cutthroat. Not that I am surprised. You need half a brain to be a spy. So what happened to the samurai? Such a cruel, vicious tongue you have. He would not go quietly. No, no. Blades were drawn, men were cut down, and the Seke, Sigam Seke Segami came. Seke Segumi. They took the samurai away. Hold on a moment. You mean to tell me the Ijin they arrested the other day was Gosetsu? Oh, had I but known if he, if he is in the custody of the Seke Segumi, I need only see to it that the requisite funds find their way to the right official's hands, and your friend walks free. As it is in Uda, so it is in Kugane. But given the circumstances, it seems we have no choice but to resort to morally questionable means. We'll make a pet. <laughs> we'll make a break matter out of you, of you yet, Master Elfenov. I cannot talk today. Hancock. You are free to wait here while I speak with the relevant, ofi relevant official. But if you would rather wait for Go Get Gosetsu outside the barracks, we can go together. I wouldn't put it past the Imperials to try something again, so mayhap it would be best if Lise, it's me, and I joined you. Alright, but what about Gyodo? I will keep an eye on him for the time being. We can release him after you return with Gosetsu. He will doubtless have some choice words to say to the little fellow. Sorobon, mayhap it would be prudent to prepare your ship for our immediate departure. As you wish. Everything in order? Then let us be off. The Sekasigumi barracks are, in, are to the north. I know where they are. I've been there. I was there yesterday. I must ask that you wait here. You may be assured that this will not take long. Is it really going to be as simple as he says, do you think? like three seconds dude hold on he said it wouldn't take long right but this feels a bit long to me calm down please everything is going to be all right much as i hate to admit it i share hancock's dim view of the government officials and their supposed incorruptibility 
From what I gl I've gleaned of the Far East, they're probably exchanging lengthy, lengthy pleasantries. There seems to be a correct way to do everything around here, bribery being no exception. I say we leave them to it, right? It's me. Ba, 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 da, 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 da. Right, right. Everything's fine. Probably. I mean, it couldn't be as bad as the last time we stood around waiting for something to happen. Pretty, mm. How about you? Ah! Was that? That was Gazetsu. I'm sure of it. He's in, He's trouble. in trouble. Lise, wait. I suppose we should follow her then. I suppose. I don't see a need of it, though. She can handle herself. Victory to the samurai! that now? Ten in a row! Kazetsu! Maybe we'll pick up Samurai's oh, side plus. This is a surprise! What in blue blazes are you three doing here? I could ask you the same thing. We've been looking all over for you, and then I suddenly heard you screaming. It would seem there has been a misunderstanding. Allow me to explain. So, in summary, you started a brawl with some off-duty Imperial soldiers and were subsequently arrested by the Sekisugumi, whom you somehow befriended and convinced to set you free if you could defeat a given number of them in single combat. Ten bouts for my freedom, aye. It is but a pity you came too late to witness the last one. Aye, it is a pity. And with that, I'm free to go, yes? Our word once given may not be broken, but we pray you make every effort to avoid future altercations. Circumstances notwithstanding, my lord. We are honored and grateful to have witnessed firsthand the skill of a Doma Samurai. Ah, and we had just concluded negotiations. I gather my assistance was not required. <laughs> He's honestly one of my favorite characters. I will say this every time. Uh, anytime you meet a new character in this game. They are a good character, except for Lise. I've acquired Scatter Mastery? What is Scatter Mastery? Uh, upgrade Scatter to Impact. Oh. Uh, deals unexpected damage with potency of 200 to targeting all enemies nearby. Accelerated potency to 50. Increases both black mana and white mana by 3. Huh. Cool. I must apologize that you were and that you endured such trials and tribulations in the search of me. 
There's no need for that. You had no way of knowing we would come looking for you. We were after you were after a ship to take you to Doma, yes? It just so happens we have found a willing captain. Truly? What fortune? We'll tell you all about it back at the camp at the company offices. Elfenor and Tataru are waiting for us there. As well as a gift. I know how much the Japanese love gifts. Gosetsu, thank the twelve you are unharmed. As you can see, Master Elfenord, I am the very picture of health. You, vile fiend, malevolent trickster, how kind the Kami are to grant me vengeance so soon. But first, I demand you return the coin you so villainously embezzled from me. You have every right to be angry, good sir. Gladly would I return to you your coin, had I not been forced to repay certain gambling debts beforehand. Seeing that the matter, uh, setting that matter aside for the moment, where is Lady Yugiri? Was she not traveling with you? For a time, aye, but we parted ways some while ago. The better to improve our chances of finding Lord Hian. Lord Hian? Forgive me, I have yet to explain. Lord Hian is the heir to Doman's, Doma's throne and our master. He was a passionate voice for the cause of Doman liberation. And when we learned of the Empire's, Emperor's death, it only grew louder. So you seized upon the opportunity and rose up to reclaim your freedom, only for your hopes to be dashed when Xenos led his army onto your lands. The Crown Prince was a merciless foe. Against him and the might of the Twelfth, we had no chance. Once Lord Hian understood this, he bade Yugiri take to the sea with as many of our people as possible. He, however, would stand and fight that they might have more time to escape. I remained by his side as well, and together we carried on our doomed war. And then one day, in a fierce battle, we were separated. I knew not what became of him, only that he was beyond the Empire's reach, and that to find him I would need Yugiri's aid. The situation grows more perilous by the day. For the, for the, new, for the new Viceroy, Yosuyu, is a black-hearted villainess who delights in the torment of our people. There is not she would do. She would, but there is not she would not do, to further her own her pursuit of Lord Hian. Thank you. I believe that makes matters a deal clever, clear. It would please you to learn that we are come to aid the Dome and Liberation Front in resuming their efforts to overthrow their Imperial oppressors. Then allow me to join you. My inquiries here bore no fruit, hence my desire to return to Ulthard. Once there, I can lead you to our headquarters in Yansia, where we shall all be reunited with Ryugiri. Mayhap not all, Elfenon's talents would seem better applied here in Kugane working closely with Tataru and Hancock to feed us intelligence. There is a Galian embassy just down the road, after all. While I appreciate the vote of confidence, I should be glad to accompany you all. As a soldier in the field, so to speak. Come now, brother. A competent commander assigns his soldiers the tasks best suited to them. As you, of all people, should know, you are very good at espionage and intrigued. <laughs> Or we all must serve each in our own way. Very well. It would suit my place is here. Saraban is waiting at the pier. You have fun. Have fun, you lot. I want to learn the Eastern Bow. It's uh, Shiokaze Holstery. Uh, 
Hello, Soroban. I have been waiting for you, my friends. All preparations have been completed, and my ship awaits its passengers. Shall we depart without further delay? After you, my shield friend. If you insist, with me, everyone, the Ruby Sea awaits. I remember the water, how it turned crimson in the morning sun. Why is the Tower of Babel here? It's a neat volcano. A shimmering sea of rubies. Stretching from horizon to horizon. You could almost believe it went on forever. But beyond that red expanse lay a land in turmoil. On the shores of Ockard, our Doman brothers struggled in vain. Saraban. How wide and beautiful she is, the ruby sea, filled with promise and adventure and treasures. Many wonderful treasures. Thanks. Now, in order to reach the shores of Othard, you will need to cross the resplendent waters you see before you. However, this is easier said than done. To set forth without making the necessary pre pre preparations, is to invite confeder the confederacy to claim your vessel and your life should you resist but this fate can be avoided by paying the ruby teeth thereby earning you the blessing of the pirate lords so let us go and greet them our destination is the isle to the west that doesn't look very far to me it's me why don't we jump in and swim for it i've had my fill of boats hmm an excellent idea I think you shall find the water to your liking. I will use my ship to deliver the those less inclined to the isle. Woo! Swimming! Uh, this is the expansion that they brought swimming in. And also took out a very uh, powerful Dragoon skill. Right, this should be easy, and a good way to loosen up before the next fight, whatever, whenever it comes. Twenty gills says I'll be to that. Yes, you will. I won't pay you, but you're certainly going to beat me there. Saraban. Ah, there you are. I trust you enjoyed yourselves. Follow me, my friends. The one with whom you must we must speak is a man named Tansui.
I fear you have the advantage of me. Most honorable and esteemed, it's me, Texas. I am Tonsui, a humble mate who serves at the pleasure of the Confederacy's captain. As you are in the company of the Shellback, I presume we have business to discuss. None of those boots, so I'll take that piety materia. You wish to pay the ruby teeth, yes? With your guild, perhaps? It is just as well. Foreign currencies are in demand these days. Ash would pay for their passage to Othar. Does this sum meet with your satisfaction? The sea has been quite tempestuous of late. I cannot say with confidence that you would reach your destination safely, unless you tripled it. D do you take me for a fool? I know the price as all do. As do all. Alas, we live in, in, in we live in interesting times. As you came from Kugane, I should think I need not tell you that. The shadow of war looms. The wise and the cautious shirk our waters and our custom, and the foolhardy sharpen their knives in, in anticipation. Meaning, sir, sir, you've got to come quickly. The bastards are at it again. I tried to convince them to stop, but they weren't having it. Uh, very well. I'll be there shortly. Hmm, a proposition. Your comrades strike me as a worthwhile investment. I would not hear men name me a cat before Coburn, so I shall consider their teeth paid. Not for what they've done, but for what I expect they will do. I'm not sure what to make of that man, but at least the matter of our teeth is settled for now. What was that he and the other pirate were talking about? Maybe we ought to go and have a look. And just a upgrade from a pirate or private. Uh. Yep. Ah. sent me into a magic combo, which is nice. And then it just took it away. Gentlemen, I'm told you were most unreceptive to my associates' requests. I realize you do not look kindly on the Confederacy and her ways, but if you refuse to pay the ruby tithe, your safety in these waters cannot be assured. Spare me your concern, pirate. Your feeble attempts at extortion will not work on us. You remain at large because we allow it. 
because you are such insignificant little pests that we see no need to swat you. What a dick. But if you wish to risk the ire of the Viceroy, by all means, fire upon an Imperial vessel. Give us a reason to bring the full might of the Galian Empire to bear against your pathetic fleet. Bastards! Gentlemen, surely the fact that you have such limitless resources at your disposal gives you all the more reason to spare some few coins for the less fortunate. All talk, just as I thought. Come, let us away. I have no time for this rubbish. We're all the same to them, aren't we? Savages to be ruled or slaughtered. They've always balked at paying the ruby tithe, but they were never so eager to pick a fight. The problem, you see, is that many of my comrades in the Confederacy are of Doman descent, and the acting Viceroy, well, she's none too fond of Domans, to say the least. If we take any action to hinder the safe passage of an Imperial vessel, she'll accuse us of attempting to ferment rebellion and brand us enemies of the Empire, which we can ill afford to be. Like the man said, we're all talk. And where did the Kojin stand in all this? With the winning side, of course. They're mercenaries to a fault, eager to offer their services without coercion. The Shellback could tell you more, though something tells me he would rather not. Still hiding behind the rock. I don't understand. If the Garleans are causing the Confederacy this much trouble, and if so many of you are Doman to begin with, why aren't you willing to fight back? What's the point? <laughs> Spoken like a true friend of the Dome and Liberation Front. If you're planning to rouse us with noble words and grand promises, don't bother. We all know what the Imperial Army can do. Compared to them, we're boys with boats. Besides, true. what ties a man may once have held to his home are forsaken upon joining the Confederacy. We look out for none but our own. Be that as it may, our livelihood is under threat. And the captain will need to decide soon whether we're to go down in a blaze of glory or bow and scrape for crumbs from the Emperor's table. All while, our friend the Viceroy continues her purge of Doma's radical elements. I believe she's holding court in one of the fishing villages even as we speak. That she devil! Her perfidy knows no bounds! She must be stopped! Come, let us find Soliban and put us here at once! Tell the others that these ones have paid. We all have places to be. Gusetsu. What are we waiting for? Come, come. Sor Sorobon could cannot have gone far. Though, now that I think on it, it is passing strange that he left without warning. Mayhap he did not wish to be seen by his Kojin brethren. I doubt he thought to leave us behind, but nevertheless, it may be prudent to return to his ship. Or at least to the Confederate encampment. Did I? Is there... Oh yeah, there isn't a, uh... Eighth Ray Crystal there.
don't, don't attack me. I'll die. Oh. Okay, I didn't die, but it knocked off half my fucking health. Ah! Fuck! That, that attack almost killed me. Friends, a thousand pardons. As you may have guessed, I was reluctant to see be seen in your company by my red blood brothers. Ours is a complex relationship. I pray you do not misinterpret their actions as a reflection of our allegiances as a whole. You you understand? Call me be praised. Too often are the shellists quick to judge all cogent for the deeds of one. Right then, now that our business with Tansui is concluded, we can traverse the Ruby Sea without fear. fancy shoes. I shall return to the trip and ship and prepare for our departure. If you have any remaining business to, con to conduct with the pirates here, I pray you do so now. Ah, that reminds me. It's me. Would you be ki so kind to inform the confederates of our plan? The more they know of our movements, the less like we are to be mistaken for another vessel by their comrades. Do they have a way of conversing with everybody? Well, I guess everybody kind of uses Link Pearls except for the Garleans, so... Yeah, I guess they would have a way of communicating with everybody. Oh, you're one of the Ejin from the beach, leaving us already? No need to pay the teeth like the Toms we said. On the other hand, if you were to peruse our wares and find anything to your liking, we should be glad to sell it to you for a fair price. Uh, thank you, sir. Though I don't think I'm going to be buying anything from you. Woo! -hoo! That could spell death. You have spoken with the Confederates of above, then? Excellent. If you are ready to depart, you may do so at any time. All aboard. Then let us be off. I shall deliver you to the fishing village of Isari. Wait, Tansui said the Viceroy was holding court in one of the fishing villages, did he not? Should Isari chance be the village in question? We could instantly find ourselves surrounded by Imperial soldiers. 
I find it's I think it's safer to come ashore some distance away. Very well, I know just the place. Here we are. I am reasonably certain none bore witness to our approach. And with this, I believe I have fulfilled the terms of our agreement. I bet you have. You have my deepest thanks, Sorbon. Truly, we are blessed to have befriended such a clever and industrious merchant. Oh, you are much too kind, good sir. I know not where your path may lead, but I wish you the very best, and I hope that we shall meet again. So, we have finally arrived in Orford. All we need to do now is, uh, liberate Doma? Ah, yes. That. Look, daunting though it is, we do have one thing in our favor. The element of surprise. Unlike in Girabanya, the Imperials don't know we're here. Admittedly, that may be our only advantage, considering how few of us there are. Well, I expect the Doman liberation front to be even up, well, even up the odds a bit. But before all that, we need to see if this is the fishing village Tansui ha was talking about. It may well be. I smell ceruleum on the breeze. for the rebellion such indiscriminate shows of force seem pointlessly excessive if only you knew how commonplace such scenes have become hmm. are we too late over there someone's coming there's the coward and the witch Master, the traitor who sold her homeland to the Garleans, Yotsuyu. The Viceroy herself, and look behind her, isn't that... <sighs> Filthy squalor everywhere, I count them. What I wouldn't do for a drink. Come now. You've no reason to look so afraid. You have lived through a quarter of a century of Gallian rule, remember? Tis better to bend with the wind than stand tall and be broken. Therein lies hope. Therein lies freedom. I come before you today seeking affirmation. A heartfelt declaration. You are free to answer me as you see fit, yet even the least among you should know the correct response. Should. A resident of your village, one of your neighbors, mayhap your friend, was detained by the Kojin this morning. They say he was attempting to flee to Kugane. But we both know that simply isn't true, don't we? Have you anything to say? Hmm. 
Bit slow, this one. Is there anyone more sensible among you? Have any of you anything to say? To swear? My lady, I swear to serve the Empire, to do whatever is asked of me, and never disobey. He's just after that sweet, sweet Poo-Tang. Ah, well said, that man. Of course, it wouldn't do to simply take you at your word. Kill your friend. Kill him. Surely you can do that much. He must be guilty of something or other, or he wouldn't have attempted to flee the Empire. I have a family. Kami, forgive me. Kami, forgive me. Way to go. Oh, very, very good. I've always had a soft spot for men like you. Next, I want you to shoot those two over there. Too old to work, you understand. A burden on the Empire. We can't have that. But they're my parents. You can't expect me to... We will show them no mercy. Think for a moment. If you go charging in now, every one of those villages is as good as dead. We must consider the wider picture. If we act recklessly, we risk alerting the Garleans to our presence here, making it that much harder for us to work with the local rebels. To say nothing of the reprisals ordinary civilians would be made to suffer. Open your eyes, girl. They are already suffering. Let me go. I am putting an end to this madness. We can kill the Viceroy right here, right now. I will approach right the village alone and identify myself as a former leader of the rebellion and a known fugitive. They will wish to detain me until they are certain they have learned all I know. Use this time to make your plans. You saw what those monsters did to the villagers. Who knows what they'll do to you, assuming they don't kill you where you stand. We live and die at the pleasure of the Kami. My fate is in their hands and no others. If it be of any comfort, I am no stranger to chains. You can't expect us to stand idly by as a comrade goes marching off to his death. And this is nothing like Kugani. Nor is it like the Reach, Lise, or the Wall. Let him go. Hold out for as long as you can, but remember, noble sacrifices are to remain an absolute last resort. I wish I could say it won't come to that, but only the gods know how we're going to get you and the others out in one piece. A miracle, perchance. A great tower stands to the north and east. Look to its occupants for aid and succor. Together, you may yet find your miracle. Now, leave this place. I must go. Oh. Another idiot like all the rest. I'm beginning to think it may be something fundamental, something intrinsic, something quintessentially dormant to ignore the simple truth. 
You can't do a damn thing if you're dead. Fair. Enough, Yotsuyu! <laughs> well now, this is a surprise. Hear me, Yotsuyu! Cease this farce, here and now, and I shall surrender myself to you. Refuse, and all shall answer to my blade. Bring him to the tavern. I hate it as much as you. Maybe even more. Every fiber of my being was crying out to intervene, but... But I know... But... No. But what's done is done. Gosetsu's gamble has given us the time we need to find a solution. He's bade... He bade us seek out aid at the distant tower, yes? For what? For want of a better idea. I say we do just that. While taking care to avoid the Imperials. Yeah, we're gonna go check out the Jenga Tower. Can't dive yet. We seem to have evaded their patrols so far. What is that tower anyway? I've never seen anything like it. According to my map, we are in, on Anokoro. The tower is known as Heaven on High, a mysterious structure built long ago by persons unknown. Oh gods, listen to me. I'm starting to sound like Alphanod. Next thing you know, I'll be saying things like, as you are doubtless already aware, Hmm, over there. Do you see it? Hmm, it doesn't look like it's been dead long. Whoever did this, they're a good shot. I can't see a single stray arrow. Well, someone's hungry. Wait, that wasn't either of you two, was it? Calm down. We had nothing to do with... Wait, what am I doing? They can't possibly understand us. Probably not, no. Time to run, Lise. Uh, we save our strength for any uh, for any that give chase. You two, it's me.
just imagine if they'd taken us by surprise. What a fine ending that would have been to our story. Anyway, I think it's safe to assume that the people at the tower know how to defend themselves. You'd have to, sharing an island with these things. Now, all we, ha all we, ha all we need to do is convince them to help us. Oh, there's a settlement here. They've even got their own aetherite. Wait a minute, I've seen that standard before. It was when we met with Tansu, which means this place belongs to... Oh. Okay. It would seem we found a confederate settlement. May have even their headquarters, judging by the size of this place. Zogosetsu bade us to seek out the Confederacy for aid and succor. The self-same Confederacy that refuses to openly oppose the Empire. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained, I suppose. At the very least, they're unlikely to ask us for the teeth. Tithe? Tithe. Gotta talk to this falcon porter. Yep. Uh, no. I don't want to talk about the, uh, or I don't want to leave on a falcon. But uh, hey. We've effectively skipped this giant chunk of searching for stuff, but yeah. What winds bring you hither, of all places? Were you not bound for Othod shores? I see. I trust you have not forgotten your, our previous conversation on the subject. No? Then what do you want? A second opinion? Very well. Come with me. I'll take you to the captain. Rasho. Just like that? An audience with their leader? How very accommodating. We must needs choose our words carefully. You leave it to me. I've always been good with people. And this will also give me a chance to use the Eastern greeting they showed me in Revenant's Toll. You are not at all good with people. Also, do you have the... Yeah. This way. Is there not a way for me to climb up ladders? Oh, oh, fuck. It's up this way. Greetings, you must be Rasho, leader of the Confederacy, and so on. I realize this is a bit sudden, but the thing is, we have a little favor to ask. Oh gods, I've probably broken half a dozen rules of Far Eastern etiquette already. Well, I'm sorry about that, but you have to understand that we're in a hurry, so I'm going to stop talking now.
Men who revere manners and tradition can be found the world over, but not here. Your candor is appreciated. Speak your heart. Here's this entire spiel. Gosetsu, a former leader of the rebellion. Aye, I know of him. Why he bade you petition us for aid and succor. However, I know not. At risk of repeating myself, to join the Confederacy is to renounce all other ties. We are beholden to none, allied with none. When Doma was invaded by the Empire 25 years ago, we did not rush to her defense. Knowing this, do you honestly expect us to help you drive the Imperial forces out of Isari? The Gallians have long maintained a presence in this region, and we would be fools to break the present peace, fragile as it is. Besides, you are capable warriors, yes? With guile and preparation, you can surely resolve this matter yourselves. It is imperative that our presence here remain a secret for as long as possible. For us to openly engage the Imperials at this time would endanger everything we have come here to achieve. You have told us why you cannot fight, not why you we should fight in your stead. If you would speak to me of life saved, you would... I would speak to you of slaughter. How many will die when all pretense is lost and the Gallians declare war on the Confederacy? Hate is a luxury we cannot afford. You are free to come and go as you please, but you will receive no further aid. Thank you for your hospitality. If you would excuse us. Hates me. I know it didn't. That didn't go well. But I'm not. But I'm not prepared to give up on them yet. Gosetsu told us to come here for a reason. He must have believed we could convince them to help us. We just have to work out how. My thoughts exactly. I'm glad to hear we're of the same mind. Tis little wonder they refused. We have done not to persuade them. The real work begins now. We need to learn more about the Confederacy. What their needs and weaknesses are. Once we know that, we will know how to earn their trust. I just, I just want to jump down there, please. and armor have been piled up haphazardly. The, they display no signs of recent use or maintenance. That's no bueno. Have I tuned to this? Okay, I have. Why do you have two tied up men that are naked? Pretty sure there's something out there I need to talk to or look at. Guaranteed there's something on the other side of that mountain. Or hill? Rock shaped object?
Hmm? Taking an interest in the ship? Heh, <laughs> good eye. She's not much to look at now, but once upon a time she was a beauty. The Confederacy favors flotillas of smaller ships to capture and board errant vessels. The larger ones, like this Sekibune, only take part in major engagements. Not that we've had any of those recently. What, with those Imperial bastards throwing their weight around? If it wasn't for them, well, no use moaning about it. Uh, about what you can't change, eh? Nothing else on this ship. Oh, there's stacked crates out there. Um, don't think there's anything on the other side of these rocks. Doesn't look like it. So I think it just, yeah, it's just the stacked crates out here. A number of crates and barrels have been stored here. On closer inspection, however, most are empty. Bunkai! That man has a fantastic name as I am a huge fan of bleach. Uh, Had a good look around. Uh, then we just need to wait for lease. Ba, ba, ba. Sorry to keep you waiting, uh, but I wanted to talk to as many people as I could. Tis as Tizuni said, they have no intention to of standing up to Yotsuyu. I don't know if you two got a different impression. Uh, under the right circumstances, they might help us. I agree. It's obvious that they are struggling to survive, and that they blame the Imperials for their recent troubles. Even if we do nothing, it is inevitable that they will come into contact, conflict with the Empire sooner or later, and deep down they all know it. The only thing holding them back at the moment is the belief that they lack the strength to survive the coming war. So we need to prove to them that we're not all talk, that we can be valuable allies in the fight. And what better way to demonstrate our worth by than by seeking out people with mundane problems and offering them our expert assistance? You mean me seeking them out and doing their work? Wouldn't be the first time we've had to earn someone's trust by helping them out with this and that. And you know it won't be the last. I'll look around the western end of Onokoro. Uh, Onokoro. Yeah, I said it right the first time. Uh, you two take the east. Good luck. Uh, thank you. Now to put the eastern bow on my hotbar. Emotes. Eastern bow. Add to hotbar. Right there. Oh? Oh yeah. Battle stance and victory. I wish the actual collar would pop. Um, we got two quests on this side of the mountain. We'll do both of them right away. 
And if it takes us to the other side of the mountain, we might as well do that. Grab that. Uh, you strike me as a strong and capable individual. I have a job for you. Our sooner, if you are courageous as well. On the beach to the far west lies a carcass of Ginki, feathered with arrows. I would have you go and retrieve those which may still be of use. While you are about it, I should be glad if you were to butcher its tail for meat. Very good meat in Gyuki tails, you know. But I did say you would need to be a courageous sort, and I meant it. The beast was young. Do not be surprised if an angry mother mourns its child. Thank you. For that, I will have to, uh... Go do that, huh? You there, I, you, have you been, have you seen a bumbling clod of an hour off? A new recruit I ordered to patrol the northern edge of Anokoro. He is late in returning. A strange boy he was, quiet and brooding, reluctant to speak unless spoken to first. Better than a fool who never holds his tongue, perhaps. Much as I would enjoy dragging him back by the ear I cannot, duty compels me to remain. Uh, you, on the other hand, have no such obligations. well doesn't look like it's on top so should be safe to just run around this mountain I suppose it might be on top of the mountain So, technically, you can go inside Heaven on High. I don't know how you can, but you're supposed to be able to. Ah, fool me! Kami, take me. What kind of pirate cannot uh, suffer the way of this way of ocean? Hmm? A new recruit far from the far-flung shores? Very well. I have a task for you. Go first to uh, Okumo below and receive him medicine for men of the earth. Uh, then to Quickscape Pier and the hapless snowman uh, bemoaning his wretched fate. Quickly! Come at the best of Afumi for medicine. My very best is yours for the taking. How pitiful the lot of this dome and unable to stomach, stomach the sea. A true confederate could raid a dozen ships, ships while in his cups. Mayhap this one should return whence he came. Ah, but... They cannot, sadly. Oops. Cast about for the Confederate recruit, but no one matches his description. Bum, bum. 
Uh, no one matching his description. Pretty sure we're gonna be going through here. Reunion, the Dawn Throne, Dungeon, Doro, Elo? about for the confederate recruit and at last by a young Auro man Auri man lurking behind the rocks to the west not those rocks do you mean mountain who who are you you do not look like a man of the confederacy Forgive me, it was but yesterday we bid farewell to one of our own, and I worried that she might have lost her way. We laid her to rest in a boat and pushed her out till the current claimed it, for the sea is our home, now and ever after. But those sent thither with burdened hearts may drift back to shore, it is said. Out of concern for her comrade, she strove to earn far more than her keep. She hunted rare and deadly game in treacherous waters and lost her life for it. But my vigil is ended, her vessel has not returned to Onokoro. She has made peace with this life, and placed her faith in us to live on. is done uh, now we're gonna actually let's run over this way because it's just over this way we can do this oops been running around with my chat on full display I'm an idiot Does it shift and shudder still? There you go. Medicines? Give them here. They may look down on me for resorting to such measures, but I would do aught to render the world stable and motionless once more. You are kind, as is Afumi. You may tell her that I will return to my duties as soon as I am able. Okay, that's two. Uh, this. Why do you gotta attack me, bro? I did not to you. Why does this quest have to be the furthest away? I wonder if they ever look down, they stab themselves in the chest. So I'm pretty sure uh, uh, certain seals do that. Are they seals? Uh, 
this. Okay. Why couldn't I have grabbed both right away? Awesome. Um, all of these quests are done. Aranami. So what did my recruit? Did you find him napping on the beach or some such? What? All this time he was standing watch for the funeral vi funerary vessel, huh? So rarely does he give voice to his thoughts. I had no idea our comrade's death had affected him so. Too quick was I to judge him. It is good that you went in my stead, else I might have misspoken and made a fool of myself. Please accept this as a token of my gratitude. At least the guy realized his mistake, honestly. Kajika? You have been away for some time. Oh? Have we, uh... What's up? What do you... What do you mean? Service description has expired. I promise that my subscription has not expired. Or it shouldn't have expired. Well then. So, this is where I'm going to have to end the stream for today. Um, sorry it's a short one. Um, but I have some technical issues with the game. And probably won't be able to stream for a little bit until I figure this out. Thank you guys for coming and hanging out. Um, let's see if we can raid somebody. Doesn't look like anybody from the stream team is on. Um, yeah. If you're watching this on YouTube, give this a like and subscribe. Uh, if you're watching this here on Twitch, uh, give me a follow. Whatever you feel like. Uh, thank you guys again for coming and hanging out. You guys have a great rest of your evening.